most of us can't stand to have bare walls in our homes. So we put up framed pictures. We even add mirrors and shelves. The occasional reef. But what do you do when you've run out of pictures and mirrors to put on the wall? Well, thanks to the Home Depot Seeds program, we might have a solution with the Stylewell Curio Shelf. It's a wooden structure. It measures 27 by 17. And the cool thing about it is you can place this on the wall and you can put all sorts of items, whether picture frames, little knickknacks, mementos. So let's take a closer look. Not all that impressive. It's wood, plywood at that. Staining is subpar, uh, some pin nailing to hold the boards together, possibly some glue. The finish is not smooth. There's a bit of roughness to it. Uh, this side edge is okay. Top corners over to the edge are somewhat sanded. Uh, staining is subpar throughout. The way this unit works is you have a hook here. This rectangular has teeth on it and you would attach a molly and a screw to the wall, which are not included. And that would hold on here. And then you have one on this side. And so it's held here and in this position up on the wall. So installation should be fairly simple. It's a shame they didn't include the molly and the screw to do that. Uh, in looking at this, one, I don't like the color. Now I'm actually tempted to uh, get some spray paint and finish it uh, in like a black or some solid color. By the way, uh, this plywood edge is the same on both sides. So uh, you get the same look regardless of which way you go. So it's, they didn't put a border strip on this or anything to conceal this very rough edge. So overall, not at all impressed with the appearance of this or the fact that they did not include uh, at least some screws and molly considering that they didn't spend much time on the finish or the material. Here's that very same shelf. I've spent a couple of days painting it. It's pretty tough to get inside the small openings. Uh, I tried putting some filler to take care of the gaps and some of the holes and where things didn't join very well together. But, you know, upon close inspection, you can see that it's still a very rough look. And that's just due to the fact that this is plywood. This is not quality wood. And maybe it's supposed to be shabby chic, but it just looks trashy to me. So um, I went with a color. I even took the two little attachments off of it because I want to mount the unit horizontally instead of vertically. And that'll give me the option to do that by, by removing these. And I just dip this in the same paint so that they're painted front and back except for the little corner where they have to be held in place. Anyway, um, not a product I can really recommend to anyone unless you just love that shabby chic look and, and you're willing to pay a, a good amount of money for it. That's the thing that's really surprising. This wasn't your $20 knockoff shelf. This was a sizable investment and it doesn't show in materials or in the finish. Not something I would recommend. If you found this video interesting or useful, Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.